Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. As you see, oh my god, he's here. I'm I'm this guy. I leveled him up to like uh, level. You can read it. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce numbers right now. Level 46? 46, yeah, that's how you say it. Sorry, English is not... English is not so bad. Um, so we gotta meet with Master Song Lee, who's in my team right now, and we gotta uh, give the perfumes to him. So, I'm just gonna say we're gonna stick to the Archon quest now. We're gonna do this. So, when we were like when we're done with this quest, we can finally do the Ascension quest because I wanna. <laughs> Hello, I wanna do the Ascension thing before I, uh, you know, before. Dragon Spine update comes out. Hey, you looking kind of sexy, man. Just, just like me. Hello. <laughs> We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Yeah, we probably took too long because uh, ever since I think it's like it's been like two days. But like every time I like started the game, when like not doing this quest, Paimon was like always in the exact second when I like got launched into Genshin and she was like oh we shouldn't kept we shouldn't keep Master Song Lee waiting for so long uh, oh you're back don't worry I haven't waited long <laughs> she's just been dissociating star staring at the statue for two days straight okay compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu this was but a brief moment <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? I mean, he can turn enemies into statues, so, um... That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? I sure hope I did. Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Okay, let's do it. Offer a golden house, maiden. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. Offer valley, valley Weaver. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love Offer it. Offer Fate's Yearning. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. <laughs> I love how it's just pink. <laughs> oh, what was that? Well, it's like Rex Lapis really likes this one. I guess the final answer is number three. Yeah, just like I said. Guys, I'm, it's actually me. I'm Rex Lapis. That's the one older lady. <laughs> Rex Lapis to be a boomer. Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, Perhaps. I know an, I know an old lady. Are we gonna meet her? Are we gonna meet Madame Ping? Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. <gasps> what a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form. And... and? <sighs> Let's hope the Chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Oh, uh, well, which... What ulterior motives do the child and the Shisheng have? We... Well, we do need to see the Exuvia. I still don't know what the Shisheng has to do with this. Why would they, like... Kill Rex Lapis and then be like, Oh! Who did this? That's just like that one meme, you know? Which what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Okay, just do it yourself, man. Cleansing bell? Yeah, what do we need that one for? I, I, I'm like starting to think of those cows who have like their bells around their neck. <laughs> Paimon has to carry a big a bell around her neck just like a cow. At present, a friend of mine named oh. Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her... She will know what I'm to excited do. to finally meet her because I know that it's sort of been like a running gag in the fandom and like everyone has been making memes about her. So I'm actually excited to see her. Old friend of mine. Why, why are you just hanging out with boomers? Okay. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, 
Do this for me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag you there still because you're on my team. Man, why is he gotta be so secretive this time? Gotta be shady for the clicks. <laughs> Look at them staring at each other. Oh my god, that's just perfect. Hold up, I gotta take a picture of this. Looks like they're about to battle. Oh my god. Okay, so uh talk to Madame Ping. Where is she? That's the question though. He's like, oh, I cannot be there in person. Please don't make me do this. Also me. Well, looks like you have to do this now. <laughs> Come on, do it. Blam. Oh. What, what is this thing here for? Looking so special. Okay, so... Also, what is this flying thing in the air? I have a feeling that we will soon find out. But I'm not quite sure. Where is the Terran's thingy that you want me to go to? Because it's not on the map. But apparently it's just a part of Liyue Harbor, so I don't know. They could have at least just have put it on the map so we know where to go. This one here? Ah, uh, no, probably not. Cleansing bell, where could that be? Look at me, I'm Master Song Lee, and this is the Liu Harbor Millie Left, and there's a doggo! <laughs> if someone just like glides into the city, the, the guards couldn't even stop them. That's me being powerful. What is this guy doing just fishing over there? That's kind of fishy. Okay, so. Well, I've actually never. I've actually never entered the city from the bridge. I've never been here. What? Well, I've literally never been here. I always just like spawn with the <coughs> teleport point. Where is it? This one, yeah. That's a whole different platform. Oh, no, I was here before. I did a quest with this NPC. Um, like a daily commission. So, where's your boomer friend? Where does she live? Give me her address right now. Hand over. Hand over the grandma. Hand her over! First we were smelling on young ladies, now we're smelling on old ladies, guys. That's just how life be sometimes. Is this the right direction? It's the wrong direction. Where? Th this one? I is that her? Madame Ping! I found you! It's not her. Jesus. Maybe it is her. Maybe she just forgot who she is. Um, okay, this way, right. Well, people who can read the map would be at advantage here, but I don't know. Now you gotta hear his um, sexy voice lines. Okay, so, um, I'm here. Where? Sturdy Roost. Sturdy Roost? Why am I climbing? Why am I? Stop it! No. <laughs> Oh, what are you just chilling in the corner here for? That's kind of shady. Hello, Madam Ping. Oh, she's not the same as the lady we've seen before because she has glasses and she has eyebrows. <sighs> All things must change. Are you alright? Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. Why do I feel like she's probably really good at fighting? Because I've seen all these memes about her being a five-star character and shit and uh... What happened to I expect her to be the ninjutsu master of time and strength. Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lily? So they probably know if there's like if there's been betrayal or something going on in the right of dissension. Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. 
Others say that the Qixing made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. The Fatui! It was child and Scaramouche was doing. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Ah, uh, you'd like we'd like to borrow something from you. We'd like to borrow the cleansing bell. Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. So we're not allowed to mention that, like, her friend Shongli sent us here, okay? That's kind of weird, though. She isn't even asking questions. She's not like, oh, what are you guys doing here? Why, why do you know of the cleansing bell? She's just like, ah, okay. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person back when I was young. On his person, so he <laughs> suddenly being a little child and running around with a bell. <laughs> He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part and with it. And now she lost it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. I'm a Knights of Favonia certified lost property finder. Oh, yeah. What a weird thing to be proud of. <laughs> hey, you can be proud of anything if you just uh, make it sound that way. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. So she still knows where it is. Wow. Uh, do you live near here? Oh, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Oh, that's sad. How does that oh, work? Oh, Paimon, shut up. In you go, Paimon. Uh, it contains your house keys. The bell is all your own. In your go. I'm just gonna bully Paimon, even though this is a sad moment right now. What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. Or if you just break a few bones, it should be possible. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? <laughs> oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find Are you it. gonna shrink us? This is gonna be like Alice in Wonderland and we're gonna be like tiny 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 like ants. This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? I thought it was just like uh, she's like saying I don't have any anything like you know, she's like, oh I've lost all of the stuff and now all I need to live is can fit in this teapot, but I don't Whoa, who's talking to me? I don't know what's going on exactly. Let's just touch it. Maybe it's a mini game. Oh, memories? Question mark. The main? Is there a domain inside her teapot? <laughs> that would be so weird. But I mean, hey, we got magic, so nothing is impossible. I think. Oh. It it, it it well can't talk. It really is. Oh whoa oh whoa, whoa. It's so pretty. Oh, there's a spider. Huh? Where are we? What just happened? That's really crazy. Madame Ping is Youngsters, interesting. This is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that. Ah, thing. don't shoot at me. Whoa. Ew. Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. What the fuck? What's going on? Sorry to trouble you, children. 
please help the old lady clean up? What? I, you know, like, my expectations were, like, low. But they totally caught me off guard. What just happened? I have no idea what's going on, actually, so, um... I'm just gonna spawn my geococks everywhere. <laughs> why Why did I electro... Oof. Yeah, I know, this team I have right now is not very effective. I didn't expect to, like, suddenly be instead of a domain, so, um... I just wanted to try out some characters. This is actually just a team for of characters I sim for, minus Kaya plus Barbara, because I need healing. But, you know, I gotta try out suddenly and I gotta get some EXP for him to level him up. That's what I need the ascension quest for, so I can farm uh, level materials better. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I did not expect this at all. I don't know what's going on. And I, ah, what I wanted to say earlier, you know, uh, Luhua Pool is like this, this one thing on the map where there's like, uh, Pretty pools everywhere. I don't know if you know what I'm referring to, like the the light blue seas and stuff like that. That look like well pools. But like uh, close to that, there's like a geo pillar which you gotta activate with geo powers. And there's the NPC who has a quest for you. I'm gonna show this to you in the next episode or something like that. Anyway, so. But like there was a locked door, and behind this door, you could see that there was also a spider. So. I've actually seen the spiders before in Genshin, I just couldn't go there because the door was locked, so... This wasn't really a big surprise for me. Look at this! It's so pretty! What? How far up does it go? Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I can't even talk. I'm so bam- I feel so bamboozled from everything that just happened. Um, oh, okay. I was like, where? Where does it lead me? Oh! Uh, okay. Uh, probably ages. Granny is probably like 3,000 years old. Be gone. Your life is mine. If the spider would stop shooting things at me. They actually don't look too scary. Because they're so tiny. Wait. You just... Where did he get his health from? Why is it full again? Oh. Oh, because I'm using Geo on Geo. Wow. This makes sense. RS Kai, I would say this would be interesting. Oh, he just fell off the cliff. Okay. Oh, okay. I still did it. Wow. Uh, activate wind current. Nice. So, um, over there. Okay. There's a tree. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell. That's so pretty. Think this old granny could also be in a dead yeah, that's what I what I thought before as well. Kinda reminds me of the cloud uh, retainer where we've been, like this domain. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. And like. <laughs> more and more convinced that she's in a dead yeah, Paimon, don't spoil the story. Don't they all live in but she lives inside a teapot. I don't know, because Rex Lapis isn't there anymore? I don't know, man. But like, when we met Xiao, I already expected uh, Madame Pink to be here, because I thought she would be an Adeptus, so... Yeah, I would not be too surprised, actually. I, I can trigger the flaming flow. Fuck. Oh, that looks pretty. <laughs> too bad he's gone now. Oh, hello. I know my team isn't the best right now, but... Gotta get used to other characters as well, you know? Things would be too easy if I would just always play clear and Kaya. So... Improvise, adapt, overcome, adapt, I, uh... No! Blam 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 blam. Why did someone just add me to a birthday group? Seriously, like most of my friends, their birthdays are all in December. 
And because of lockdown, you obviously cannot like celebrate birthdays right now. But they always just keep making group chats for like, I don't know, birthday parties. And now they made another one. And I'm like, what is it this? Was what is it for this time? I'm so confused right now. I gotta check this out later. Oh, oh hello. No! This is order. What what is, is with him and his thing for order? I don't even get it. Uh Yeah, I do regret having this team equipped right now. Ah, I hate it when they do these attacks with like the crystals because uh spiral abyss did not help. Uh. Submit. Submit Fuck! Ah, uh, let me out of here. Hell yeah. He's like, I'm the boss now. Rise! Spawn to Geocock. Ah! You can't run away from me! No. Geocock number two. Oh. No! Oh, nice. No, why are you making a shield? This ain't good. Oh. Is this the last one? I don't even know. Yes, no, let me out of here. I should use her more often, she's doing damage at least. Don't waste, my don't waste my time, I'm gonna break your stupid shield! Die. Seriously, playing him doesn't really feel like playing a 5 star, in my opinion. But maybe because his level isn't so high. I don't know. I also gotta level up the talents. But I need ascension for that. Oh! Yeah, it's easier, easier with her. Uh, trigger some pyro, explode! Yes, 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 yes. Quake. This is and be gone. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. You too. Oh, that. That gave me nothing. But I got her ult ready, so. Time for some slashing. Yeah, let's speed this up a little. Okay. Uh, activate wind current. Um, how many levels does this teapot have? All of them. It would be nice if we had one of these. Too. <laughs> okay, or fine. Then. At least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Yeah, people have been asking if we would get like a housing option where we can like have a little house instead of Monstead. It would be cute. Cleansing bell. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick. Do we gotta fight her now? Is she a boss? Oh, now, let me talk to Madame Ping. Challenge All completed. right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Is there a treasure chest or something? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna head out. For, yeah, seriously, for one second, I was like expecting her to just show up in here, and suddenly she's like five meters tall, and we gotta fight her. I would not have been surprised because I know Dangan Rampa too. <laughs> So, um, maybe she do be evil, I don't know. She doesn't seem like it, but there's gotta be something about her. Why everyone has been making memes of this lady. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you with the Fatui? Are you an Adeptus, ma'am? An Adeptus? I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand? Uh, I would understand better if you would actually confirm this or deny it, but okay. Uh, Hyman kinda knows what you mean, but is also kinda confused. Yeah, same. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for Don't it? make us seem sus. Oh, don't be silly. 
Niwa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. Okay. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. Okay, so she knows. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't drink? Can I keep it? <laughs> hey, it belongs to Granny. It's We're mine. To return what we no, I also stole all the books from Lisa's library. It's mine now. Oh. Let you keep it. <laughs> you really are a frank child. If you want it, you can keep it. Uh, what, what, thank you. But this bell gets homesick sometimes. Aww. Who knows? It might find its way back into these old hands. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time they can come over for Aww. tea I don't have much to offer but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea yeah I was inside your tea cup there's not any tea in there so um we will thanks Granny. oh Paimon is so cute it's bigger on the inside oh my god we're getting pri oh I'm locked from co-op again fuck uh, put the perfume in the cleansing bell, which will be this way. So, I suppose Shang Li has also come here again. So, um, let's just meet him. Is he standing there? <laughs> uh, I love this. It's so funny. Hello, I'm you. Don't, don't just look down on me. Oh, look at this stare off. Hello. <laughs> Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. How is no one questioning what we're doing here? Like, all the guards are just standing there. They're like, okay, let's just let this guy, let these guys do what they gotta do. Um, are you also an adeptus? Do you know Madame Ping? Yeah, I, I, of course he knows her. He's the one who sent us here. Are you also an adeptus? An adeptus? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. <laughs> oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. She sounds like a mochi. <laughs> <laughs> that tone does not hey, suit you. Hey, she tried her best. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. She's literally over there. You can just walk there right now. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. Oh, okay, then I think I know what a kite is. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. It's like... Is it like those things on the string that can fly in the air? Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. So, um, okay. <laughs> Quest completed! Hey, my co-op is here again. Downtown, go and buy kites. I still don't really know what kites are, but here we go. Maybe I can learn some English in here. Oh, there's a cat and a girl having a chat on a bench. But maybe also in French. I'm just gonna make everything rhyme. Doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Oh, oh, it's this one. <laughs> Hello, uh, old lady number two. You're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes. 
Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well-versed in all these walks of life. <laughs> We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery, tea, perfumes, flora, and fauna. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics <laughs> Oh, that's such a sneaky roast. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with yeah, you. Yeah, very, very much fun. I mean, we could, we could have gone to the zoo. We could have gone to the amusement park. We could have gone to the cinema. But instead, he's like, "Oh, you gotta smell on this lady now, who's mildly sexually assaulting you." But okay. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things. That's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Her voice sounds so much younger. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. When she's gonna get pissed. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Paimon, stop talking. Huh? Oh, Jesus. The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. Oh, Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once... <laughs> oh, where'd she cut off? The compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the... Oh, 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 oh here it comes. Well, allow Oh me. my god, hello! <laughs> would have been funny if you would have just kept walking if hey, I didn't click. it's Child! Oh, the boyfriends are back together. <laughs> Did you arrange to meet her? You ambushed us! <laughs> no way. I was just passing mm, through. That's what you say. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. Because he doesn't have a wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. <laughs> How has he not died of hunger yet? Oh, uh, because Xiangling probably cooks for him. <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. Are you sure about that? The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the heart. Are you sure you don't want to take a break and go and get some freaking Mora somewhere? Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. Oh. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, <laughs> if you know yeah. what I mean. He's an old man. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. What are you trying to? What are you trying to e eavesdrop? Oh. Downtown. Find the three workers. I'm locked from co-op again. Fuck. So the first one is... 
Here, just a random toad. <laughs> Why is he called Toad? What is what kind of name is that? He doesn't look like a toad. Should I Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. That's that's cool of you, Toe. That sounds interesting. Adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Brave adventurer, we have need of five crystal flies. I have them in my inventory. <laughs> eh, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 Mora. What say you? I have it in my inventory. Why do I gotta... Can I just keep the money for ascension? A most fair price. No, no. It's my money, not yours. Yes, no. Let's negotiate. No. I'll give you nothing. Oh, I pissed him that off. I won't do, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's too little. Too little, I say. Oh, come on. You're just a toe. You got nothing to say. How about this one? That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too... <sighs> Fuck off. That won't do, I'm afraid. <sighs> toe seems to be in a bad mood. Negotiate with caution. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll oh, do fuck you. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, off to the next one. What's his name now? Armpit? Where is he? Is it this guy? Tacked. Tick tack toe. Are you kidding me? No. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes. 25 per day? Huh. Whoa, that's expensive. Yeah. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount <laughs> on account of the whole hero of Mondstadt He's thing? like, I don't care. This is Leo. Mondstadt means nothing to us. Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard oh, of Come them. on, I'm sure I've heard. I'm sure I've heard your voice actor. And Mondstadt, because you actually sound like Timaeus, the alchemy guy. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Uh, wait, let's talk prices. Nothing. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. Uh, what about this one? That's too oh, come little. on, that's a lot, man. Uh. This is what? too little. I'd consider it if it was a bit higher. Uh. This price uh. will do. No loss to me for a day's work. Okay, let's find Tick. We already had Tack and Toe. We did this in the wrong order. How was I supposed to know? If this guy's not gonna, it's not gonna be called Tick. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be ticked off. Okay, good. Like, imagine his name would be like Liam. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. I don't care. So, what's the job? I don't even know. Let me <laughs> see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects. So I didn't make any special preparations for them. Fetch me 53 branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that uh, sound? Done. Oh! Stock prices. Come on. Two. Oh, come on. No, what? Shut up. Huh? No, no. How about a bit more? This amount isn't worth going out of the way to make only one trip. Oh my god, can I keep the rest of the money though? Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to okay. it. Can I keep the rest of the money, please? Is it mine? It's not mine. Ugh. Now we gotta find our child again. And talk to him. He was acting kind of sus. <sighs> Oh, there he is, just just standing there. Hello. Oh, I gotta take a picture of the boyfriend, so sorry. But that's what I'm here for. Look at them, staring at each other. Look at the chemistry between those two. 
It's beautiful. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Okay, shut up. <laughs> All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours. Oh yeah, keep. nice. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. He's my sugar daddy now. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? Yeah. No uh. way. Paimon demands to know when the next payment is <laughs> Me too, Ether. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an oh, hour. Oh, you would really do that? Okay, uh, uh, I'm, I'm listening. What info do you need? <laughs> no! Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could the Fatui want? Oh, I forgot he was one of the Fatui. Are you forgetting what happened in Mondstadt? What happened in Mondstadt? Oh, the Fatui said something like 50 episodes back when they were talking about uh, to Jean. Uh, what else could the Fatui want? Yikes! You're right! Signora. Oh, yeah, this one, right? They almost killed Venti. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> well, what I've been reading yesterday, the atmosphere also got tense, but it wasn't just Child, it was also Song Lee was involved there, so... Um... <clears throat> Oh, there he is. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. <gasps> yeah! The finest pharmacy in all... Yes. Is everything okay? Oh, he looks so sad. Oh, he's like, my sugar daddy betrayed me. Everything is fine. Mm -hmm. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus Yeah, more. that's why I'm so sad, because uh, I wanted to give this money to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Can we tell Shang Li the truth? Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Guzong, go to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Where now? The what now? The where now? The what? This way. I already know a few characters who are involved in Boo Boo Pharmacy, so... I think we will soon see a certain guy with green hair and a snake, so um... This way? Do you want me to go up here? No, they don't want me to go up here. They want me to go over there. Whoa. That was smooth. <laughs> I'm all out of stamina. Uh, where? Where is the pharmacy? Okay. I don't know what the building looks like. Oh, this one. Okay, I see. Nice. We're getting to know more about Leeway and I'm all here for that. Oh, right. Uh, these guys, uh, I was doing a daily... Oh, she's got the Catherine haircut. That's Catherine! Catherine! But I don't want to. It tastes gross. Yeah, for these guys, you can do, like, daily commissions, and then you have to to give, like, medicine to the kid. <gasps> Chi-Chi! <laughs> Look at her! She's too tiny! Huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in Did here. you just see her head when we were running towards it? Like, she, you, you could, like, just see her hair in there. You can't even see her face. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. <gasps> oh, her voice sounds so familiar. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. The reception is talking to us. The pencil is talking to us. Check it out, and Paimon will bring up the Yeah, rear. of course. You're a coward. You're afraid of little girls? If I would have clay on my team, I could just like, go through there. Okay, would have cut me off anyway. <laughs> Why is he so scared? Look at her. Hello? Aww. <laughs> oh my god. That's adorable. Oh, there you are. But you can't even reach the Hey, counter. that's mean. Is she a zombie? How would you know? Just because she's got like the death note on her head. The De death note. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Paimon, if we're going to talk about Hyde, you, uh, yeah. Joke's on you. Paimon floats. So Hyde is no restriction. I can cut off your wings. Shut up. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? Maybe, maybe she's not a zombie, she just stole it. It can't be. She's a 
she looks pretty alive though, like not your usual kind of zombie. Look, her eyes aren't red, her skin isn't pale. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. <laughs> she sounds pretty dead though, but uh, same. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Oh. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. She doesn't even give a damn. So that's nonchalant delivery from a bombshell revelation. Do the zombies also count as Adepti? Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Yeah, right. In Mondstadt, we only have twinks and kinnies. <laughs> Isn't any better. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi Chi your prescription. These are Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. <laughs> Chi Chi's orders from Chi Chi. Orders? Yeah, that's his favorite line. I gotta say this. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders, and somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Blah 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 orders. Blah blah blah. You will have order. Uh. My dear Chi Chi. We didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Oh, oh, I think I know what's gonna come now. Okay. I then. think I know what she wants in return. How did you manage that? <laughs> but Chi Chi helps you. You help Chi Chi. Only fair. Yeah, sounds about right. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? <laughs> Since Chi Chi said so. Never mind. <laughs> Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Right, it do be the city of con, con contract. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt the what with the witch at where? Hmm. <laughs> Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. The what now? It's a kind of crossbow oh. turret installed on Mount Chinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Oh, I might have seen this before. I don't know. Located in Chinhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. I know who's gonna be there. <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. Oh no. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. You're gonna bully her now. Did you want to add anything else or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. You just said that. <laughs> What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. This is much to go on. Don't tell us if- do, do tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. Oh yeah. <sighs> what the heck is a coca <laughs> I don't know, Paimon, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so, uh, look for the Guizhong Ballista. Uh, over there, that's not too far away, actually, so let's just, let's just fly over there. Oh boy. <laughs> the Coco Goat, okay, if that's what you want me to find, then this will do. Why is this man making so many noises? I'm not complaining. It's nice to hear something like this instead of just official making noises all the time, but... Oh, look at this. Look at the pretty sunset, guys. Look at the pretty sunset. Yeah, yeah, I've been here before because there was like a ruin. Where you had to clear out lots of enemies, and then on top of that, there was like... There was a thing. And I was like, wait... 
why is this here? What do I have to do? And now, now things make sense. Oh, wait, what? Guizong Ballista maintains. They respawn. No. Oh. Ah, uh, the Guizong Ballista is an intricate machine of divine conception, and it could only come to fruition by the hands of mortal craftsmen through a tre tremendous degree of toil. Likewise, only through painstaking maintenance can it remain a truly mighty weapon. After centuries of peace in the land, should take that an ancient evil rear its ugly head and plunge the world into war once more. These spare parts shall be needed, and a craftsman of suitable caliber and character must be summoned to collect them. Oh, there's more text. Oh. A note to the collector. The structural parts, namely to, namely the beams and bow limbs, will all be found folded and stacked in the storage room, robust and treated with lacquer. One may rest assured that they will remain completely intact for millennium. As for the finally crafted parts, such as the trigger, fasteners, fletchings, bolstering, and so on and so forth, these will be found in a dedicated container. Please take that which you need. The machine is in this machine is integral and to the defense of this land against its most formidable foes. Cherish each part as if it belonged to your own body and perform your solemn repair duties with the utmost devotion. Cursed be any who would disgrace the history of this great machine by taking shortcuts in their work. Uh, I forgot what you want from me, but I know it's... Where is the storage room? Where... Where's the storage room? I just know that this thing is over here. Inspect the Guizong Ballista. I did not want to press this. Look for the obje ob objective in this. Use the goddamn ladder. So, I'm here. Check. Okay. <laughs> it's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But. How do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, damn it. Oh, what? It broke? After a millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. I'm glad I found the note because I just accidentally walked past it because otherwise I probably would not have found it. So what are we gonna do? Quick! Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! <laughs> He's not Wikipedia. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite <laughs> whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on Yes, demand. that's it. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? No. I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. Uh, of course. <laughs> with the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Look at look at his face. <laughs> That's his new body now. This looks so awkward. Look, it looks like he's been turned into a robot. So retrieve spare parts from the military supply post. But guys, that's what we will do in the next episode of Genshin Impact. Whoa! Oh, that was smooth. Look, there's a bird. Okay, wow. That's what we will do in the next episode of Genshin Impact. Look at. Look at his, the bottom of his coat kind of looks like uh, a dragon pattern or like snake skin. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those You're that not come talking, how can you talk? To stay a while. Okay. So it is where many things come to mm -hmm. settle. Yes. I keep talking about boats in the next episode. Until then, Shazam guys, Shazam. soon.